The maxillary central incisor has incisal edges which along with the proximal surfaces form incisal angles. The tooth is the widest mesial distally on the crown and has a great curvature of the CEJ. The roots are conical in shape and come to a blunted apex. The mesial contact is in the incisal one-third and the distal contact is at the junction of the middle and incisal one-third. Distinguishing right and left can be accomplished by observing the incisal angles. The mesial incisal angle is usually sharper and the distal incisal angle is usually rounder. On these models one can also observe the imbrication lines in the cervical one-third as well as the developmental depressions which separate the three developmental lobes on the labial. From the lingual, one can also see the curvature of the CEJ. There's a cingulum, as well as mesial and distal marginal ridges. There's a lingual ridge, and lingual fossa. From the proximal view, the overall crown outline is triangular in shape. The incisal edge is centered over the long axis of the tooth. The height of contour for both the labial and the lingual is in the cervical one-third. From the incisal, one can see that the proximals taper towards the cingulum. 